welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Blood Oath Pack 5. Before I get into this whiskey, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This is a Luxco product that was launched in 2015. A new pack is released each year. The fifth release, the Pack 5, is a blend of 8-year-old rye bourbon that is finished in Caribbean rum cast for 6 months, an 11-year-old weeded bourbon, and a 13-year-old rye bourbon. The exact percentages of this blend are undisclosed. The ABV on this one is 49.3%, 98.6 proof with an MSRP of around $100. Cool fact about the proof is they actually proofed it to your body temperature. 98.6 degrees. I thought that was kind of cool. The availability on this one, it is a limited release, but in saying that, there was 15,000 cases, 45,000 bottles released, so your chances of getting your hands on this one is pretty good. Let's check out the bottle. I think they've done an excellent job on the bottling of this. I think it fits the marketing of the packs very well. They're all done the same way. They all come in this box right here. This is the 2019 Pack 5, it says on the side. Pretty cool box it comes in. It does fit right inside there, which I think is pretty cool. The bottling itself, I really like. It's got the certified Blood Oath seal right here. On the front label, it tells you a little bit about the blend itself. This is a, and on the back it says it's a limited release series. It also has a solid, piece of cork for the cork. There is no top on it. Solid piece of cork. I really like the bottling. I think it's pretty neat. With that, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, check out the color. The color on this one, guys, it is dark. This is a dark whiskey. It is a nice, deep, dark copper, maybe even a mahogany color to the whiskey. It is, it's a fairly dark whiskey. The viscosity, it is coating the glass very well. It it's, it's, seems to be very oily and viscous. The legs on the whiskey are super thick legs on the whiskey. Very nice viscosity. Nice dark color to the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Right away, a nice sweetness to the whiskey. Maybe a little grainy note. Molasses, vanilla, brown sugar, maybe even a little leathery note to the whiskey also. A nice oak note. Vanillas, brown sugars, baking spices. A little bit of a rye spice also. There's definitely a leather note to the nose of this whiskey. Very nice. Molasses. The oak note is definitely present, but it's kind of underlaying the molasses, leather, vanilla note on the whiskey. It's like an aged oak note to the nose of this whiskey. Nice leather, molasses note. It definitely has a sweet nose, but it's not a super sweet nose that a lot of your rum finished whiskeys has. It's just a nice, sweet, very approachable, nice nose to the whiskey. Once again, you got a nice brown sugar note, vanilla, leathers, a little grainy note, some rye spice, some baking spice. and a little pepper. Very nice nose of the whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Very viscous whiskey, very oily. Front of the palate, vanilla caramel, a little molasses. Mid palate, a little citrus zest right here on the sides of the palate. 
a little bit of an oak note in the finish. And that leathery note on the finish is starting to pop up that I got in the nose. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Front of the palate, it's caramel, vanilla. Molasses is kind of getting drugged through. Mid palate with a citrus zest. That leathery, oaky note is coming in mid palate. Finishing off with a oaky, leathery, vanilla note. This is quite nice. A lot of your uh, rum cast finish whiskeys are overly sweetened. That is not the case of this. It is very well balanced whiskey. I'm really enjoying this. Let's go in for another sip, guys. Cheers. Very mouth coating, oily whiskey. You guys can check out the glass. As you can see, it's just coating the glass. Finish is medium to long finish. Front of the palate, vanilla, caramel, molasses, going on to a mid palate citrus zest with a little brown sugar, molasses, rye spice maybe popping up. And that leathery, oaky vanilla note kind of lingering on in the finish. Very, very nice pour. Very nice third sip. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Blood Oath Pack 5. Guys, I really enjoyed this pour. Is it my favorite of the packs? No. But in saying that, it is a very complex whiskey that does deliver nice, unique flavors. The rum cast finish on this whiskey is not overbearing. The sweetness is balanced out very well and nicely with nice leathers and aged oats. I really, really enjoyed this pour. And that being said, I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.